Welcome back, friends. We find ourselves again in Assetto Corsa, this time in Nürburgring, around 1967. We're driving a period-accurate Porsche 718 RS Spider, um, 1960s um, car. So this should be kind of fun. Uh, manual shift, five-speed, 160 horsepower, and um, a, a little interesting to drive as the cars were in this era. Now, you may or may not know, Nürburgring was commissioned in 1925, um, basically answering the call for races to be hosted in uh, countries in Europe. Germany wanted a part of that, so uh, they found a nice little spot through a forest to cut out a track, and uh, it opened in 1927. First race, actually, interestingly enough, was a motorcycle sidecar race, followed quickly by cars, of course, but uh, cars didn't have the first go, but they certainly lasted longer, I think. Um, I'm not sure motorcycle racing still goes on at the tracks, but that's another story. Um, we are right now on the Sudschleife, which is the south loop of the track. This is um, part of the track that um, really subscribed itself mostly to um, smaller type cars uh, and motorcycles for the most part, leaving the north loop or Nordschleife for you know the faster Grand Prix cars and you know major race events and things. The full track was used. Uh, four races early on, but the last major event that used both the North and South Loop combined, like we're driving it here, was held in 1929. So the South Loop, you know, wasn't as well maintained or well cared for, and eventually um, when final set of improvements to this track were made to put in the GP circuit, um, it was destroyed, is no more. There are few parts of it, I guess, that still exist. But uh, it's pretty much gone at this point. I, I love driving it because of the history. Is uh, It's just sort of cool to realize that this was here and part of this track's uh, unique story. One of the, the cool aspects of this track from opening day to present day is that uh, it is open to the public. You can actually pay money to drive on, on the track, the full circuit. Um, and back in the early days, that meant, you know, driving uh, this, the Sutschleife and uh, the Nordschleife together as one track. You could, you know, pay some money and bring the family out in the family sedan and, uh, have a little bit of uh, fun, see where, you know, the, the race stories of the day took place um, on this track. Pretty cool. To this day, uh, if you have uh, 30 euros in your pocket, you can take your car out on the track. Um, insurance is interesting, though. Your insurance company may not cover you if you wreck the car on uh, the Nordschleife these days, um, but there are companies that will rent you a car, insurance included. We just finished driving the South Loop, that's the completion of it. We're on the Nordschleife now, North Loop. This is a start-finish line up here.
probably looking a lot more familiar. It looks a little rougher. See the runoff areas and the curbing is missing. A lot of familiar features are visible. from Germany, now lives in Canada, in Vancouver. And he's all the time telling me I need to, to drive the Nordschleife, so. It's not a track that I, I have driven very much, mostly because I can't remember it. <laughs> Too much, too much. I say stay off the curbs at Nürburgring. This car, if you get a little bit of rear end block up or you brake just wrong, it takes you for a ride, man. driving this in this era and actually having the balls to drive it completely like balls out and running the risk of like winding up you know winding up stranded uh, here in the middle of the forest with nobody to help you I'm sure this was a terrifying track. Definitely worthy of the name Green Hell.
This is um, mentally taxing as it is fun. crisp morning aspect of this sun coming up and the snow on the trees Flying turns are nuts. kind of blew me away is like how all this looks familiar but so very different like this the straights I mean look at how like undulating this is I mean, up and down up and down through this area it's not just a straight like it is in a current track I mean it's not as it's not perfectly straight but it's a lot less hilly up to about 130, 35 miles an hour uh, before that kink. is a lap around the 1967 Nordschleife. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's very cool. Let me know what you think. This is actually a, a new favorite, I think. Definitely something that I'll want to drive again and again. Maybe even race on. Who knows? Well, thanks for watching, and uh, remember to like, subscribe, all that other kind of good stuff, and uh, take care. Oh,
Talentsport.